With master data information, it is possible to transfer information from my item to my sales order lines and thereby to print it on my sales order documents. And we can do that in two different ways. So let's take an example here by entering item number on my sales order line, whatever quantity here. On this line, when I enter it, it creates what we call master data information for that specific sales order line. And if I go into my master data information, I could set up either to transfer like this, specific information on each master data information, but it would all, this would also determine or use four lines to be printed on the print. So maybe I would prefer to create something like a long description where I merge informa information together to save space or to have my sales orders more compact. So this is possible to create a description like this based on my report description. So let's see where this is set up. I need to set it up two places. First of all, of course, on my items. So it comes from my information code and is transferred to my information value and further on into my specifications. So here on my specification, I have my field out here called include in report description. And this is determining which field that we need to merge on the sales order line. So I need to set it up on my items, but I also need to set it up in my master data on document setup, which is a little complex. And there's another video to display that. I'll just show you shortly in my master data on document setup. And this is a complex stuff to get into. I'll have a template called sales order. And on that template, I'll have definition of my sales line. And if I go to my sales line definition in here, there's a check mark called add long report description. And this check mark determines whether or not it should create this long one line on my sales order line with my report description coming from my items.